our trekking schedule includes two nights here at Refugio Rossi and so we have a day here to explore the two peaks accessible from the hut directly. We have the prospect of a glorious day ahead and so Kit and I venture out, this time with just day sacks on our backs, not the fully loaded gear which we lug most days. This is Pania Secca, ran from Omo Morto, the dead man. The dead man. And the dead man and his nose. Uh, see his nose. Up there. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. Yep. Main path goes left, we go right, follow path. Oh, I can see the path. Yeah, path, yeah, 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 yeah. Follow path all the way up the grass. Yeah. To the top. I can see the top bit. Yeah, the I can't scraggy see much bit of it in, the, in the middle, no. Well, no, it, looks, it looks pretty reasonable. Yeah, we just it? made the best of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back? I would say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have to stop you running. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll keep the speed down a bit. Yeah, yeah, I would do if I were you. Yeah. I mean, it's got a bit embarrassing yesterday. Mm. Other people were beginning to wonder. <laughs> I mean, going past at your sort of speed was just ridiculous. Side, this what is Castro Riva Garfagnana, which is where we're going to end up. Yeah, so this is Omo Morto. Yeah, look in the other way, but it's the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pania Seca. So we're over the yeah, top we're there, it's but it's the not other side of the valley, no. so it's not that great, but it's yeah. it, it's interesting. We're starting off relatively early. Oh, crack of dawn stuff. This one, yeah. I'm not pushing hard. Hold your rubbish down with you. Yep. So we're following this down. We yeah, we are. The red marks. Because we'll be on the seven and to the path junction. And this seven goes all the way down to the bottom. Reassuring. Oh, there weren't very many junctions. No. Oh yes, it's a busy route. Ah, oh, we have seven. Oh yeah, Goes that's on the way down. That would be the, the down way. route. Yeah. Yeah. And we have over here, Pania Secca. This is where we're going, and we've come ten come minutes down, yeah. from Il Rifugio. Yeah. Pania Secca. Onwards. And you could see, I think. Oh, there is the path. The path yeah. in front of us. Yep. Onwards. Okay. Now, if you're shown on the map as the next level down from numbered paths, but still a good path. Next layer down, so like a like a B road from an A road. Yeah. It's uh, okay. A, yeah, it's a, it's a red, solid red line. Sure, sure. Not dotted, yeah. or rather not dashed, and yeah. not dotted. Dotted is quite scrambly. Nice. Yeah, good view of the refugee and the uh, dead man. Oh, high up. He looks on the left from here. Lovely behind he there. Snuffed it from here, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, what a lovely setting. So we approached the hut last night, sort of around there, didn't yeah. we? Around the Swing dead man. Left. See the big piece yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. the right. Um, oh, utterly well impressive. To the left, behind the nose. And a lovely valley below. Valley. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, what a view! All the way back down the way we were. Yesterday yeah. in our route. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Monteferrato. Monteferrato. And there's that little little tree. Yep, that's the bugger. And the bloody slog. Yep. Across yeah, and I like the that grassy the open area. Now how the hell we came around the back. Oh dear. Oh for goodness sake, how did we do that? How did we, we slogged do? all the way up. Yeah. To some shoulder or other. There's the top, so there's there's the green bit. We slogged up from the green tree, oh, up, yeah. 
and somehow up, 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 and cut over yeah. one of those little kind of coal, yeah. and then down round the back of round the, the back of, of the dead man thing, round the back, and then the the the, oh, the heart to the heart. Jesus, that is superb. <laughs> what a brilliant view! Yeah, and then that's our I love trick the tree. Trick Just today, love the but that tree. tree yeah. But that tree is a real marker, isn't it? And we saw it from a distance the other way. Now, oh, and of course, yes, you can actually see where where we were. Can we see yesterday? Can't, can't see. So that's what's that mountain? The tall one, Matana. Matana. Oh, you can see. Yeah, you can. And see, we can see our see the rocky tower. The rocky tower, yeah. Um, and the little diddy ones to the right. Right. If you see the tree. Yeah. You see the uh, birch wood going brown? Yeah, going brown, yeah. You see the next coal? Coal, yeah. I think that's Monteferrato and the hole. The hole, so... Oh, you, you can see the hole? You can see the hole. You, you can, can see the hole, you can see the hole. See the hole. See the hole. Yeah. So, oh, and for goodness sake. the Monteferrato, which is a little bare. Bit. Yeah, 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 Monteferrato. Oh, can I point in the right direction? Just there, the little hole. Big hole. <laughs> you can see it. You can see it. Can we see the sea? Is that yeah. the sea? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So is that the sea beyond that? It is. Yeah. yeah okay, well, you just can't see the coast. The cloud. Yeah, you see the I can see. Yes, yes, okay. Oh my goodness, and all the way down there. Oh, bloody hell. Whoa, all the way down there. This is... Very brown. But... And our route up to our left. I better stand still here. Somehow there's a little cairn there, ridge line up, 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 up. And we rejoin the main Just the top. People have come up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because we'll be following the left yeah. somehow. I wouldn't have got the view. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and we've only just done that little bit zigzaggy path down through the trees. Yep. And how we, oh, how we, oh yeah, there's a path down there. Yeah. And up. Phenomenal. Here. We're nearly there. Yeah. About another hour, I would say. Oh, at least another hour, but we're nearly there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, right on the ridge. <laughs> we do have a bit more to go. <laughs> I think we're there. Whoa. There it is. We are. The top. We are on the top. Of Pania Seca. Pania Seca. I had a go at pronouncing that. that. Look at We that. are there. Yeah. Panoramic view all the way round. And there's a bit of cloud over that town. <laughs> there's the hut. Fuge Rossi, is that it? Yeah, Enrico Rossi. Enrico Rossi. Slightly in the shadow. And we can still see the little green, little green tree. And that must be looking somewhere up the, up the coast. Is that Pisa over there somewhere? Oh, I think the cloud is over Camaiore. Uh, cloud is over Camaiore. We, started. we did, we've trekked from, yeah, we have trekked all the way from Camaiore in the cloud. So Pisa is just beyond further, further. Mm. Oh, what a lot of trees covering all the rock. It's like moss, isn't it? Pania Seca. 17, what is that, 1709 meters? Yep. How about that? <clears throat> That's okay. So that's east? That's east, we're looking east now. With the sun almost behind us, yeah. midday. And the mountain range? All that mountain range is the Apennines. Apennines. Disappearing into the cloud down to the So south. they're only three, four hundred metres above us? A thousand metres above us. Thousand. Oh, uh, no, beg your pardon, two thousand. Yeah, three, four, three, three, four hundred metres. Three, four metres, yeah, three, yeah, four yeah. hundred metres above us. Yeah, yeah. The Apennines are that core backbone of... Yeah, all the way down Italy. Yeah, All yeah. the way down, unbroken. Yeah, and, and all the way up, then to, joins into the Alps. The Alps. Yeah, the, absolutely. So that may be just in that far distance. It there. could be. Yep. Very difficult to pick out. Yeah. In the haze. Yeah. So back down. At least we can see the route actually quite clearly. Yeah, no, I must say I'm disappointed that there's no ice cream van no, up here. Well, you did promise me. You promised me there will be a nice Italian ice cream available oh, to is. buy. That's the van over there it looks like a hut. Yeah, the van's not here though. Well, you, you promised. No. I mean, do you, do you know what the word pedantic means? Pedantic? Yeah, I have heard of that before. I mean, you know, what is the difference between over there and here? Uh, means I haven't got one. <laughs> well, only... Am am I eating an ice cream now? No. So, I haven't got one. So, I am, I am whether that's pedantic or not, no nah. chance of Redemption. Redemption. Ice cream redemption. Okay, is there a beer on offer later? You can mix the two together. No, I'm happy with the beer. Ice beer cream. Yeah. I'm yep. interested what was going to actually be on the summit. It is quite a famous summit. Yeah. And it's a crappy little can, really. Well, we've done it. We it might be a crappy little can, but at least it's a marker. Yeah. That's some gully we're going to yeah. navigate around the top of. Yeah, I didn't really yeah notice, rocky. Didn't notice it much on No. Way. Yeah, rocky. Raccoon.
Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Exactly. That's pretty good. Happy with that. They're all eating the breakfast goop. They are, yeah. They are. And we return. Back at the hut for some lunch, we now rouse ourselves again to step out in the afternoon sun and this time explore the peak right behind the hut called the Dead Man, or at least the literal translation of the Italian name for the summit is the Dead Man. So is it the Dead Man or the Dead Man's Nose? What is it? Uh, all this whole this whole lump lot with all the cliffs that we were yeah, looking at yeah. up there's all all of it is dead man the whole thing oh, whether, yeah, whether yeah. it looks like a body or a, whatever, oh I don't know that is his nose that is his oh, nose oh, okay yeah. so maybe right. this maybe we're standing on his gut yeah if you look at the map the, the, the words homo mortar go all, go all, all the way along this. here okay well he's got a big nose then hasn't he he has yeah and not much of an egg <laughs> So our walk in yesterday, again looking at that, is from the from that lump. We scrabble through the tree line there a little bit, just off the top lip edge. We can't now see the arch. In fact, I think I can just see through it, but oh, yeah, won't see that on camera. No, and then followed it along the top edge-ish of the. Yeah. The bit with the beech trees. Yeah. Are they beech trees? Yeah. The browning ones. Yeah. And then broke out onto that grass here. And then we we now can't see that little tree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then diagonally up the other side. Oh, that painfully up. Astonishing. And then we broke over the top, just over there somewhere. Well, there's the path. Yeah, I see the path now. It looks easy on this side. It looks like an oil one. Oh, the other it side was, it was hard. And then down and around. And in fact, that's where, just there. Is the junction with the signpost yep. just down there? Yeah, 20 minute, and then we had a 10 minute, and then all the way around, we now can't see the hut, but the hut is just over there. We can't really see the route up that we took this morning, but in essence, it's along that green grassy bit crossing over onto the really rough stuff, the other side of the nose. It's amazing how the nose rock is a completely different colour than the the monster behind that we climbed. Yeah. It's a different rock. Yeah. This has been Trekking Day 3 with more to go, so please look out for further episodes in this mini-series. Back at Refugio Rossi, Kit and I can now enjoy a little time to relax, enjoy a beer, and then an evening meal. Thanks for watching and bye for now.